Anytime we have left silicone oil in a eye with a retinal detachment for any duration of time, it can emulsify or start to break up into small little bubbles of silicone oil that can affect the vision, can cause pressure problems and whatnot. This was a patient who had a retinal detachment and started to have some emulsification of their silicone oil. So the first thing that I'm doing here is I'm removing the silicone oil via the Alcon 25 gauge uh, VFC silicone oil removal kit. This actually happens to be also the kit that you use to inject the silicone oil. I like to watch internally when I'm getting started and then switch over to an external view. Here I've gotten most of the oil out um, and you can see just all the emulsification that's left uh, inside the eye, these little particulate oil bubbles. And so one of the keys when you see this, and anytime you're really uh, removing silicone oil, is to do several air fluid, fluid air exchanges. So we basically go and fill the vitreous cavity entirely with air. Here I'm using my 25 gauge cutter over the optic nerve safely to remove as much of the fluid in the eye. And this fluid will contain the particulate material or the silicon oil bubbles that are emulsified. And then we'll flip on the infusion and with just a little bit of aspiration, we'll fill the eye back up with fluid. And what you can see is, is that there's a ton of silicone oil bubbles still present. So once again, we'll go and do another air fluid exchange where we're removing the fluid from the eye and replacing it with air all the way down to the optic nerve, trying to remove as much fluid as possible. That fluid will contain silicone oil, so it can be very viscous. And then we'll turn around and go back to the fluid again, allowing that fluid to fill the eye, and just sort of stir up any bubbles that may be uh, hiding away uh, in the crypts of the iris, uh, behind the ciliary body, uh, in the iris zonules and whatnot. And we can do this five, six, seven times in a patient that has emulsified oil bubbles. And I believe even in this case, we did it seven or eight times. The key is really to re remove as much oil as possible to do these air fluid exchanges and fluid air exchanges over and over until you don't see the bubbles anymore whenever you infuse fluid into the eye. And when you see that the, the fluid is clear, not air bubbles, but lacking actually any kind of small silicone oil bubbles, then you know you're good. And I'll typically leave these patients uh, under air because it does encourage uh, the, the wound closure with our sclerotomies. We do tend to suture all of our sclerotomies in anyone that we're removing silicone oil in. Now finally, we have some emulsified bubbles in the anterior chamber, and I'll use a 27 or 30 gauge needle attached to a syringe half filled with BSS. So we can actually go in and we can aspirate these anterior chamber oil bubbles, and then we can actually tilt the syringe so that we can inject fluid in the eye so we maintain a stable chamber. And I find that this is really, really good for those emulsified bubbles. Not so good if you have larger silicone oil bubbles. You really need to make a paracentesis for those. Thank you so much for watching.